Welcome back to the quick settings video of the Asha Power Rover Series Solar PCU and we are demonstrating it using the Rover 5248. Come on, let's get into the settings. First, turn off the machine as mentioned earlier and press the enter button for 3 seconds. Now, the device is in the quick settings mode. Personally, the device displaying UPS mode on and off selection. Before we discuss the UPS mode, keep in mind that even if the system is off, the fan will continue to run. Press on and off button to select required option. If the device is idle for 8 seconds, it will automatically exit the quick settings. Let's discuss the UPS mode. In this mode, if the grid voltage drops below 190 volt, the system automatically transfers to inverter mode. This mode is ideal for normal household equipment like fans, LED lights, mixer grinders, washing machines and more. The next mode is solar charging priority. In this mode, the system prioritizes solar power to charge the battery. It only switches to grid power when solar energy is insufficient. Another option is grid charging priority, which uses grid power first and switches to solar when the grid is unavailable. This mode avoids all grid power charging. Next is grid bypass mode. It lets you manually use grid power when needed and automatically switches to solar power when available. Right now it's in the off mode. Let's take a look at the three modes available for grid bypass. First, we have battery voltage mode. In this mode, the system automatically shifts to solar power when the battery voltage is high, regardless of the charging source. Next, we have battery voltage and panel voltage mode. Here, the system switches to solar mode when two conditions are met. The solar panel voltage is present and the battery voltage is high. And the last mode combines three conditions, grid supply, high battery voltage and solar panel voltage. When all three are available, the system prioritizes solar power. And the next setting is the grid to solar shifting voltage. As shown on the display, this setting determines the voltage at which the system switches from grid power to solar power. This ensures that the system efficiently uses solar energy when it's available and reverts to grid power when solar energy is insufficient. Next, we have the solar to grid shifting voltage. This setting typically comes into play during periods of low solar energy, such as cloudy days, night time, or when the battery voltage is low. It determines the voltage at which the system switches back to grid power to meet the energy demand. Our final setting is solar to grid shifting. Based on kilowatt hour, this option automatically switches from solar to grid power based on your energy usage and the energy generated by your solar system. And that's it. We've successfully completed all the settings for the Asha Power Rover Series Solar PCU. Thank you for watching and contact us for more details.